No shit, there I was in Central Texas, walking into Great Clips on Veterans Day, just looking to get a haircut. And who do I see first? The ultimate hyper gray man. Tactical pants, Salomon shoes, uh, check. Grunt style shirt, check. Wearing shades indoors like the sun might jump him in the waiting room? Oh, you bet your ass. This guy's printing so hard at the three o'clock, it's like he's trying to sell me his gun straight off his hip. Magazine well sticking out, like it's auditioning for a role in Tactical Fails, the movie. And here's the kicker. Nobody notices, not a soul, except me, rocking my 365 in an appendix rig, wearing Vans in a plain t-shirt, blending into the crowd, like I'm the most unremarkable guy in the room. That's the art of concealment, folks. Looking so boring, nobody would peg you as carrying. Meanwhile, Captain Gruntstyle is over there flashing his gray man cosplay like it's Halloween for operators. You see, this is the problem. Situational awareness has gone straight out the window. People are so caught up in gear culture, the fancy belts, the overpriced knives, the holsters with names like Raptor and Velo, that they forget the fundamentals. It's not about how much crap you can strap to your body. It's about not looking like a walking Bass Pro Shops catalog. And don't get me started on the tactical hoodies. I love a good hoodie, but if it screams, I've got a Glock under here, you're doing it wrong. And let's talk summer carry, because if you live in a place like South Florida, you know what I'm talking about. Nine months of heat and humidity, and people are still out here layering like they're training for SEAL Team 6 in the Arctic. Button down shirts, too fancy, hoodies, too hot. You need a lightweight shirt with a pattern to break up the outline, tie-dye even. Hell, no one's going to think the dude in Spongebob tie-dye is packing. Subverting expectations is the best disguise. Here's another hot take. Stop worrying about expensive knives. Most of you aren't slashing through jungles or fighting off bears. You're opening mail. My $15 Chinese folder will do the same job as your $300 bench made. And I won't cry when I lose it. But if you must flex, at least don't whip out your knife in public. Like you're auditioning for Crocodile Dundee. And then there's the Paulster Enigma crowd. Oh, you've figured out how to carry in sweatpants. Congratulations, your waistband is now smarter than half the population. But if I hear one more person rave about their zero belt, like it's the Holy Grail, I'm going to lose it. Just wear pants that fit, for crying out loud. So here's the deal. Concealed carry is about not being noticed. Stop dressing for a fight scene in a Jason Bourne movie and start dressing like a normal human being. The gun isn't the statement. You're not here to peacock. The goal is discretion, not showing off your tactical drip. Send this to your friend who thinks wearing grunt style and tactical shades makes him John Wick. Let's help him out.